Are you tired of the rising costs on your shopping and grocery bill? As we all know, with every problem comes a solution. Grow your own food. Some may think, oh, easier said than done, Kizzy. But is it really? Look at potatoes, for example. It's such an underrated, easy crop to grow. And the thing is, you don't need a big garden to grow potatoes. You can actually grow them in containers. Potatoes are a very frugal crop, both today and during the Great Depression. Potatoes are also a fairly easy crop to grow, very in inexpensive, and also you can store them for very long periods of time. You don't have to be green thumbed <laughs> or green fingered <laughs> to be able to grow potatoes. It's fairly easy to grow, especially in containers, and um, there's really not much to it. We're going into our third growing season of growing our own food. We're not at a hundred percent of growing all our food as yet. Um, we're still learning like everyone else, but we've still learned a lot to be able to share with you. So are you ready to learn all about growing potatoes in containers? If you are, then stay tuned. So when you're buying your potatoes, you want to buy it from the garden center or from an online shop that specializes in um, selling seeds or seed potatoes. If you're not able or in a position to do that, you can buy the potatoes from the supermarket. However, you want to buy the potatoes that are organic. You want to clearly see that when you buy your potatoes from the supermarket, that it's marked organic. Reason being, is that they often do spray potatoes that are not organic for it not to sprout. So you want to be very careful of that. And if you're growing it to eat, you want it to come from an organic section from the supermarket. Otherwise, well, you don't really know what you're putting in your garden and what you're eating. When you see that the sprouted bit is about two centimeters tall, then you know it's ready to be planted out. This one is supposed to be green, but because of the variety, it's a blue fleshed um, potato. This one's called the Blue Congo. Here, this is a normal fleshed one. You can see the sprout, that little green part here is what's going to become a leaf. Um, and once that gets to two centimeters, then I know that that's ready to be planted. And here you can see from the potato eyes that there's some more sprouts coming up here. Another tip I have for you here is that um, you do not want to sprout these in a dark place. They will get elongated and it will not make for a very healthy potato to begin with. So if you see that you have your potatoes in the cupboard and it's um, the roots or the shoots are spiraling out and it's really long, you want to just take that off like that and start again. This is how you want it to be. Here is the Charlotte seed potatoes a second early and it will take 14 to 18 weeks after planting to harvest. I've just been chitting or sprouting these and these got away from me and I had to start again with the chitting but it looks like um, they're well on their way and ready to be planted out now. At the back of the packet uh, of the shop that we got it from, it says that we can start planting out from March, April, May. 
and we should expect a harvest July or August. So I'm just going to show you how to plant potatoes in containers. So I'm just going to show you, I'll give you an idea of the containers that can be used for growing your potatoes in. Here is our first container. We got this from our local garden centre for free. They have a recycled pot um, bench outside of the store where people come and they they just leave their their, um, their pots that are not in use anymore or they don't need. This clearly still have some use that we can get out of it. So this is an example of where you can go and get your pots if you're on a low or tight budget and grow some potatoes. Here are the more expensive containers in which you can use to grow. These we happen to get for free, but um, online they're selling it for um, 25 pounds for about five of these. And these are like, they range between 35 and 50 liters. Here is some potatoes that I sown last week. When it comes to using pots, you wanna use what you've got. So here's another example of the size pot that you can use. This is what people typically use to grow their flowers in, which is what I had my dahlia in. But you can also use it to grow potatoes. Obviously, the bigger the container, the more potatoes you're likely to get. This grow bag we used to grow our potatoes last year. These grow bags are um, much cheaper um in the packet i believe depending on the size you get it's about less than 15 pounds for a bag of maybe 10. and the size of this i believe is about 40 or 45 liters yeah they work pretty well you don't have to worry about um putting holes in this one because of the fabric the water just comes out here's another example of a grow bag you've probably seen these more than the other black ones that i showed you that's another way in which you can grow potatoes in inexpensively here is another example of a grow bag this one is a different color it keeps the plants fairly insulated which is nice and also you don't have to worry about the drainage because of the fabric it comes right through the fabric it also does mean though that it dries out a lot quicker and you will have to keep an eye on the grow bags when growing potatoes in pots you don't need to worry about um, putting stones at the bottom for drainage um, just make sure there is sufficient holes in the pots below for the water to be drained out but just keep an eye on the moisture because you don't want to over over water the potatoes and um, risk losing them if you'd like a much cheaper way of growing potatoes you can also use buckets buckets i know you can get them fairly cheap from the hardware stores um, and they come in different sizes you can decide what size you want to grow the potatoes in but yeah that's another cheap option i'm sure you get the idea um, and you can be creative in the ways in which you can find stuff to grow your potatoes in um, you can grow them on your balconies like i said earlier you can grow them in your garden they won't take up a lot of space and the good things about growing in containers is if there's bad weather you can move them to a more protected location 
So to get started, you're going to need a container or a pot or a grow bag. Next, you're going to need some compost. I've got some John Innes here, multi-purpose compost. Use what you have, use what you can get. So you're going to want to fill the container about a quarter of the way. And once you fill the container a quarter of the way, you're going to sow some of your potato seeds in the container. So I'm just going to fill this container a quarter of the way with some multi-purpose compost. you fill the container about a quarter of it with soil make sure that it's all the clumps are are sift out because potatoes do like to grow in loose soil I think I'll add some more With, with that you then plant one of the potatoes and you want to plant it with the sprout facing upwards like that these have two, two sprouts on it so I'm just going to take one off and put that one in. Save for this one. The more potatoes that you put into the container, the smaller your potatoes will be come harvest time. So I like to put about four in each container and that should supply me with a medium-ish sized potatoes come to harvest time or if it's a big container like this one I'll add five now that I've done that you want to cover it with about a quarter again of the container to cover the seed potatoes that we've just sown. Make sure that all the clumps is sift through or broken up. And voila! It's as easy as that. Don't forget to water it in. So once you start to see the potatoes sprout, you want to keep covering them with soil until you reach the top of the container and then you stop adding compost and then you will want to monitor the moisture levels of the soil because you don't want it to dry out you want it to have sufficient water but you also don't want to overwater it and once you've done this if like me you live in the northern hemisphere and it's not quite warm yet you want to you want to cover this to protect it from the frost with some fleece or something similar. How's it going there, JJ? one more to this one add it to this one well done make sure you cover it up good I'm gonna do this one breaking up the soil 
making sure we cover up the potatoes on any. to the frost they will die and we experienced this in our first year so for you to avoid this in your first year maybe you can um, take my advice and protect your spuds <laughs> that's the end of how to grow potatoes in containers thank you all for tuning in don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.